So I don't think it's a secret that despite having a really good overall year, a lot of people think the Chicago Bulls will struggle when it comes to the playoff time and things like that. And honestly, I do see a lot of concerns with the Chicago Bulls right now. That has led me to make this video where I'll be discussing three things that I think will hold the Bulls back from being like as good as we think they can be and going as far as they can in this year's playoffs. But before we get into the video, I ask you to drop a like on this video as it does help my channel grow. Subscribe to my channel if you want daily NBA content. Also, we want to go of 3,000 subscribers. Also, drop a comment on this video because I do respond to all of my comments. And play that intro. First and main thing that I think will hold the Chicago Bulls from going far in this year's playoffs is the fact that despite DeMar DeRozan having arguably the best year of his career, not arguably, the best year of his career, being a top five scorer in the league, being the best mid-range shooter in the NBA, and arguably being a top 10 player, we can't forget that DeMar DeRozan is still one of the biggest playoff chokers in NBA history. I feel like people have forgotten that, especially when they're saying DeRozan is now a top 10 or even top 15 player in the league. Sure, he's playing like that in the regular season right now, but in prior years, we I've seen him play at around a top 20 to top 50 level in the league in the regular season. When the playoffs came, he always shrunk, and I mean always shrunk. And I'm not a DeRozan hater, I just witnessed it as a Raptor fan. I've been a Raptor fan since 2016. Literally every year he would choke and underperform, and there's a good chance he does that on the Bulls. To point out some of his playoff stints is the 2016 playoffs. He played 20 games in the playoffs and averaged 21 points, 4 rebounds, and shot a disgusting 39% from the field. He has come up incredibly small in many important games and overall in his career he's one of the least efficient 20 points per game scorers in the playoffs. In his playoff career he's shooting below 42% from the field. And if you just watch the games it's not like he's playing bad because the defense is so great. He simply just always underperforms in the playoffs but I'll give DeRozan a little bit of leeway since he is by far having the best season of his career. So maybe he's up upgraded his game maybe he's really good playoff performer because to be honest he's one of the league's like leading scores when it comes to fourth quarters and stuff like that so maybe his clutch gene has improved i would love to hope so he's one of my favorite players in the league don't get me wrong i'm not a derozan hater but i just feel like not enough people remember how big of a playoff choker he was but maybe it will change this year the next thing I think will hold the Bulls from going far in this year's playoffs is the fact that despite making clear improvements to his defense, Nikola Vucevic is still not an amazing defender. I don't know why Bulls fans think he's some nice great defense center, but honestly he's average at best and in the playoffs I can honestly see him getting played out the game because he's not great at rim protection, he's not great in the pick and roll, sometimes he's good at like help defense and stuff like that and good at one on one defense. But the Bulls are going to be facing teams like Milwaukee Bucks who have Giannis Tenekumpo, the best finisher in the NBA. I feel like he'll have a field day against Vucevic who isn't a rim protector at all. Also, I don't know if he's going to be able to guard Chris Middleton in pick and roll situations because he's one of the best like pick, like pick pull-up shooters in the league. He's also going to have to face Joel Embiid, arguably the most unstoppable player in the league right now. And in the four games he's had versus the Bulls, he's been averaging 33 points and 12 rebounds. But to be fair, Embiid has literally been doing that to every team in the NBA. And to be honest, there's not much teams who have a guy even capable of slowing him down somewhat. But the Bulls definitely do not have that, and that's going to be tough for them. If the Bulls have to face the Celtics, I don't think Vucevic can guard Jason Tatum in pick and roll situations because he's one of the best pull-up shooters in the league so is Jalen Brown so that's going to be a lot of easy points for both of them Vucevic does not have amazing defense I don't know why Bulls fans think he has it they have to verse the Nets Kyrie and KD will absolutely abuse him I don't even think he'll be able to play pretty much Vucevic's terrible defense can maybe hold the Bulls back in certain series I think this offseason they have to look to get a better defensive center the next thing I think is going to be holding the Bulls back from going far in the playoffs 
is their bench because if we're being honest the Bulls have a lot of solid defensive players coming off of their bench but defense is only half the game if you want to go far in the playoffs you have to have guys coming off your bench who can actually put the ball in the basket and the Bulls simply do not have that as the Bulls have the second least scoring bench in the league and I feel like that's going to force them to really rely on their starters a lot because as I said DeRozan is a guy who's prone to having bad games in the playoffs and he has a bad game you would hope that one of your bench players can step up but with the way this team is like made i don't really think that's something i'm really willing to bid up bet on and with them possibly having to go up against teams like the miami heat who have the best depth in the league in my opinion the milwaukee bucks who have pretty solid depth as well it's not looking good if they were to face each other i honestly see, think that could be the difference between the bulls winning or losing a series i'm not saying i'm not like saying the bulls bench is like trash or anything like that because they have a lot of really really good bench players i'm just saying they don't have the most natural scorers and i could see them struggling on offense at times and i could see their bench honestly blowing them some leads but regardless yeah but to conclude the video honestly i don't think the chicago bulls will really go that far in this year's playoff i see them as a potential first Hmm, probably second round exit i'm not ready to believe demar DeRozan is going to be a great playoff performer until i see with my own two eyes i promise you i was a raptor fan for like forever i still am and i just remember every year hearing that DeRozan is going to be better in the playoffs and he never was so i just have to see it lonzo ball's injury is definitely a concern i wonder when he's going to come back also vucevic's defense is very suspect at times and truly i just don't think the bulls are flat out like more talented than the other teams to be honest, I wouldn't mind seeing the Bulls go far in the playoffs because I like DeRozan and I love Levine. But unbiasedly, this team has some problems that I think could lead to their downfall. Anyways, guys, that's it for the video. Let me know whether or not you think the Bulls can go far in this year's playoffs. Drop a like on this video and help my channel grow. Subscribe to my channel if you want daily NBA content. Also, if you want to go with 3,000 subscribers, also drop a comment on this video as I do respond to all of my comments. And play that intro.